Hi Gemini, welcome to your August 2022 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Gemini, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Crosswatchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Gemini and Crosswatchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So my intentions for this reading, Gemini, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of August, to ask what may be unfolding in August, and if anything has happened in August that you need clarity on, I hope this reading provides it for you. And this can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, whatever Spirit would like to be, would like to talk about shall be said, and if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even passed down loved ones, you are welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this going. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Geminis in the month of August, or just simply whatever Gemini needs to hear right now. So when facing August, any sort of situation that can occur, what does Gemini need to remember from these messages? Let's see. Tell me about August for Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to know for the month of August? There we go. Trust. Okay, Gemini, this is a card Leo got. So if some of you are dealing with the Leo or if you have Leo in your chart at all, I suggest checking out the Leo reading to see if there's messages for you there. There is something that's requiring trust, Gemini, which may be something that I don't know, when I was shuffling the cards, and even like I felt it was difficult for me to hold all of them, I wonder if there's something a little bit out of balance in your life at this point. Something that I feel you guys have been, I don't know, submitting applications to, maybe trying to put yourself out there to, and you don't know how you're landing yet. It's almost as if you're still in limbo trying to figure out, I don't know, the purpose behind something, the purpose behind you being drawn to a certain hobby or a certain um, job that you kind of want to start putting your work into or a certain someone maybe that you don't know where you two stand, you're trying to figure it out. Something makes me feel the need to say that Gemini, trust what's in your life right now. Trust whatever's been placed in your life right now. And if there is some sort of difficult situation or difficulty around understanding the situation, it will soon come to light. But there's something in the works here that spirit needs to take care of, that spirit needs to address. And when the timing's right, it, the message you need will come through, the clarity, the, con the confirmation or anything like that. But right now, spirit's asking for your trust. Interesting. Let's keep going. Tell me more about this. What does Gemini need to trust? Wow. 
Why do I feel like it's a specific someone for some of you guys out there, like a crush? It feels like someone you're starting to like, some, starting to have feelings for, but you don't know if you should pursue it or you don't know if you should try to move towards it. Tell me more about this energy. There we go. The temple path and the thinking man. Okay, yeah, you guys are trying to figure out if something that has been in the works or something that has been introduced into your life is really something that is a part of your spiritual plan, is part of your something bigger here. It's not just temporary. It's not just fleeting. But some of you with the thinking man here, um, a couple different messages for different groups of you. For some of you, I feel if you guys do represent with this thinking man card, you've been thinking and overthinking and trying to dissect, trying to analyze, trying to come up with all sorts of solutions, all sort of what ifs, could be, should be's. And for right now, Gemini, as difficult as a message as it may be for some of you guys, you need to surrender the need to know right now. But what spirit is giving you a hint at, Gemini, if it helps at all, for those of you that are trying to think of a solution to this, this has been placed in your life for a reason. That reason will soon be revealed. But for those of you that are struggling with the mystery behind it all, something is working in the background. It's clear as day to me. And whether that is like someone's just reviewing your application, someone is in the process of selection right now, um, you know, some things are in factor of someone's life where they can't be pursuing this just yet. There are some things that have nothing to do with you that need to be worked out before this could follow through. Now, those of you that don't represent or don't feel represented by the thinking man card, God, someone has been thinking about you. They've been thinking about what you offer, who you are. Like since you guys have first met, they haven't stopped thinking about you. And this doesn't have to be a man. It could be masculine energy. Someone who's very confident, who's a go-getter, who is sure of themselves, who is very intelligent. And I think their intelligence is what really intrigued you, Gemini. You meet toe-to-toe -to -toe as far as conversation. They're not boring. They have depth. Um, they're well, I don't know, educated, or they like to read up on a lot of different things, a lot of different concepts, philosophies, and you're impressed by their intelligence for some of you. Um, but yeah, Gemini, I feel like with whatever this is, first of all, you need to know it's a part of your plan. And if that helps you stop the overthinking, stop the dissecting and taking apart and reanalyzing, I hope that helps. Another thing that you need to know about this situation is that um, there's someone who's figuring something out here. And I feel until that's been figured out, this is not going to move forward or you're not going to get that answer yet. So it does feel somewhat out of your control at this point. And maybe that's why, you know, as humans, we start to obsess over the situation because as human beings, we like to be in control of situations. He is holding a crystal here. So there is intrigue. There is something striking about whatever this man is thinking about. Something that this masculine energy may be very intrigued by. Astonished by. So you guys, if you are under application, um, I think they're really looking through your ap application thoroughly because there's something about your application that caught their eye. And if this is a romance, if this is a crush... Man, you fascinate them. But I gotta say, they're not the most emotionally based people on earth. And they're not the ones to outwardly show their affection. They may be struggling with that right now, Gemini, as far as how to move this forward with you. Um, you know, it's funny. I almost feel like it just as much as you're trying to figure this person out, they're trying to figure you out. And this is giving me air vibes. So I wonder if you're dealing with another Gemini Maybe a Libra or an Aquarius here. But yeah, this was placed in your path for a reason. And now it's just the terms of surrender and acceptance until this is fully complete, until this has been figured out. 
that is kind of what's throwing you guys a little bit off balance, which is reasonable. Absolutely. Let's get more information about this. Tell me more for Gemini in August. Oof. Oof. Okay, Gemini, we have Lord Ganesh with infinite abundance. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gemini. Infinite abundance. And it says, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. So you're starting to have a good feeling about this, Gemini. If you take away the anxieties, the stress, the worries, the fears, I feel deep, deep down, you know that this is something profound. You know that what has been placed on your path is for significant reason. And Lord Ganesh here is saying, yeah, Gemini, and I'm watching over this as this gets worked out. Um, you know, I do feel with infinite abundance here, you're going to get a gain out of this. You're going to get that good news. I feel for most of you, your worries, your fears, or your anxieties around the situation will be put at an end by the end of the month. But it is the trial of waiting, right? I know my Geminis don't like to wait, <laughs> but the waiting is kind of the hardest part of the situation I want to let you know about. Um, you know, your path is going to be made very clear once this decision is made. And I feel once you gain that clarity, once you get that message back, it's going to open the road for you to continue down further around that, you know, job opportunity. I don't know, maybe some of you are applying for school for a few of you and you'll go to get that opportunity to go back to school or to further your education. Um, but Lord Ganesh is telling you that He's watching over this situation and to have trust in this situation. That's nice. But yeah, if you're trying to get out of that mental space, that mental entrapment, I do feel, Gemini, you can take some time to start meditating. You can start to ground yourself. I wonder if there's a park you live by that would have like a bench or even a gazebo or somewhere where you can kind of just sit outside and be with yourself and kind of ground yourself again because I do feel this need to ground. The only thing that could really block this is the self-sabotage that our anxieties creates because honestly, our thoughts are powerful. And if we create so much around our thoughts that are filled with anxiety and fear and stress, it either delays the outcome that we want or even takes it away fully. And for those who realize, okay, maybe I'm just obsessing over this. I need to step back and let it happen. Let me focus on what I can be grateful for. Let me focus on what I do have. Let me focus on just taking a breath and relaxing and let it all unfold the way it needs to without me getting in my own way. Now, I feel for those of you guys with this thinking man here in infinite abundance, know that I feel their feelings for you are even greater than what they understand. For the fact that they can't stop thinking about you, for the fact that you have intrigued them. They do check your social media. They do want to get more information on you. I feel like they Googled your name just to see your background, to see if there's any articles they could find on you because these people are the researcher type. But I feel they're not going to find anything on you that's, you know, anything that would stop them. But they're definitely the type that wants to know what they're getting themselves into, wants to know everything about the situation before they move forward here. But yeah, for a lot of you, if this is a job opportunity or if this is an application, I do feel you're going to get good news out of it. How exciting. All right, let's see what... The tarot has to say. Tell me about August for Gemini spirit. Woo! The world card. Okay. That's fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy here. And it says, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth in life. This is what spirit wants you to trust. Your outcome is going to be Gemini. That something is going to be complete 
something is going to help you take to the next level, that there will be a cause for celebration here. Archangel Michael is watching over the situation as you wait patiently. Um, I, I do feel whatever it is that you're putting yourself out there to be or what you're putting yourself out there to do, you're going to be successful at it for sure. You're going to be the center of attention on it for sure. And then we have the strength card, Leo energy with Archangel Ariel. And it says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. Huh. Okay, so for some of you guys, yeah, again, it's just being patient with yourself. Um, not letting your mind get too carried away. And, you know, starting to think of everything that could go wrong, everything that could go bad. Um, you know, I do feel for a lot of you guys, you have a guardian angel that has been always with you on your side. That has been with you since you were a child even. That sends you those messages to calm yourself. I don't know, with whatever you're kind of like, you catch yourself thinking and then you just feel this presence kind of come over you. Just breathe. Just close your eyes. Just relax. That's your guardian angel reaching out to kind of help you come out of your head in this. Because this is the thing. The more we think about it, even if we take all of our time to think about it, it still may not, you know, it's not going to change the process. It's not going to change the speed of it. Actually, it could detriment it more than help it. So I feel that Gemini, again, with this strength card here, um, if it's meant to be, it shall be. And there's nothing that could take it away from you. And with that understanding of the situation here, I think you could relax a little bit and let go of the need to know why, how, when, and just surrender the outcome, which is a difficult thing. But you definitely have the opportunity to do so, at least knowing that Lord Ganesh here, infinite abundance, is a possible outcome of the entire situation. I also feel for you guys, again, if you're waiting on this energy of this masculine thinking man energy here, whoever this may be in your life, they may be holding back a bit, for sure. And if you had your suspicions on that, yeah, know it. I feel they don't want you to know how they feel right now. Um, I don't know. Like For some of you guys, they really did think they were going to be single. They really did think they weren't going to get into any sort of relationship or have any interest in any sort of relationship. But you've intrigued them, Gemini. You've now kind of stumped them in some way. You caught them off guard, which is making them kind of rethink their idea of what they were going to have and what they were going to be. You, you really caught them off guard, for sure. So if you're kind of wondering if they're holding back, absolutely. Absolutely. And maybe even for others of you, if they are in some way intimidated by you, especially with the strength card here, they may be trying to find a way to work up their courage to tell you everything they've been thinking about you. But... Yeah, it, it's, it, it's been a process. I'm going to give you that. It's definitely been a process. But, you know, also, too, you see that, like, dove up in the corner there, like, reaching out, trying to give this lion and this lady sitting here the infinity sign. I do want you to know, Gemini, that your thoughts, your prayers, your manifestations have been heard, have been received. And that's why also spirit wants you to trust the process. But, you know, with Lord Ganesh and with the world here, your outcome is greater than what you can even imagine right now. And I don't even think, again, this is just going to be a little good job, congratulations, little gold sticker for you. I do feel like whatever it is that is going to manifest out of this situation is going to provide for you in the long term. I do feel this has the potential to be a long-term relationship. I feel like this has the potential to be a career uh, that will provide you with your success, your infinite abundance. So trust the windfall that is about to come through. I feel a lot of you are anxious about it. A lot of you are feeling 
Like it's so near, you could just taste it. But yeah, it, it will for sure come. For sure. And for some of you guys, yeah, it's out of your control. So all you can do is just sit back and wait. But I think good news is coming out of this. Just keep going. Tell me more about this energy that surrounds Gemini for August. Ooh, to Raphael. I knew I felt those love vibes. Um, cancer energy. And what it says is two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. So, yeah, Gemini, I really do feel this is a connection both of you are feeling. And although you're not expressing it, someone's not saying it, it's for sure felt. But they're stumped. They're stumped. You've completely taken them back, Gemini. Um, they were not expecting this at all. When they first got to get to know you, they saw you. Yeah, they were like, who's that? Anyone would. But then when they started to give up conversation, you are a lot more complex than meets the eye. And that's exactly what this person loves. You know, they're not the type of people that get attracted to someone that, although they may be very attractive, they're as, you know, dull as the wall. You know, it's just something that this person would not give a lot of time to if it was something that mundane and bland. But you have... I don't know whether it's the conversations you two have had, whether it's something that they've witnessed a moment where you kind of spoke your mind, spoke your truth that they seem impressed by, or even certain things you may post on social media that provide another side to you that shows so much depth, you know, your spiritual ideas, reposting, um, you know, certain articles or sharing your mind through social media is something that they're very impressed by. What you've already showed, what you've already presented. Um, you're definitely more than meets the eye. But if you've been hoping that this crush or whatever you've been feeling is something to be excited about, it absolutely is, Gemini. It absolutely is. Bottom of the deck, we have a Hierophant. Divine Guidance and Taurus had this on the bottom of the deck. I wonder if some of you are Taurus Gemini cuspers or if you do have strong Taurus placements in your chart. If so, check out the Taurus reading to see if there's messages for you there. But yeah, there. I feel some of you are getting the same messages, but you're like, okay, great, same message, but when? <laughs> I've been there too, Gemini. Um, it will all work out. It will all work out in your favor. Um, you know, the repetition is something that you should pay attention to for anything that's synchronizing in your 3D world. Um, and what it says is the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternate approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. You know, I wonder for some of you, just putting it out there, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But I wonder if this energy here is like a boss or a manager or a teacher a mentor that after getting to know you, you know, the feelings of professionalism or of mentor, you know, sensei, Jedi are turning more into a love or turning into a deepening of feelings here. You've really impressed them, Gemini, truly. And I feel for those of you too, there's, if there's an application under review right now, it's being sent to the higher ups to evaluate, to show, hey, this application stood out. What do you think? I think this is something to consider. And I think the higher ups right now are impressed with what you have to offer. It's something unique. It's something rare. And it's something that will be effective. But spirit is telling you there's good news to this, Gemini, that this will work in your favor in infinite abundance and love and romance or even some sort of job or career that you're pursuing is going to be fruitful. Wow. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get one more message. And for this card here, it's going to just provide us an affirmation. It's going to provide us anything else that I really didn't pick up in the reading, but Spirit wants to conclude the reading with and anything else Spirit would like to reiterate. Wow. I control my biology. 
Okay. And what it says is, whatever I was born with doesn't matter. I am con in control of my biology, my immune system, and my awareness. I am healthy and filled with vitality. So I honestly feel the need to say that this does go out to those who um, experience anxiety as me being one of them. Yeah, it, it's very easy to start snowballing, right? The snowball effect. One thought leads to another, leads to an another, and it's, sometimes it's hard to stop in its tracks. Something that I do, I don't know if this will help you, but what helps me is when I start to cycle like that and it starts to kind of get a little beyond me, I do something to distract myself. And one of the things is just get up and get a glass of water. I don't know why. I don't know how. But just by getting up, filling my cup of water and just drinking it and just that simply just helps me take my mind off of it. And maybe there are certain things that you're figuring out now to kind of help cope with the anxiousness, the nervousness, calming that mind that is so active. Um, finding new ways to kind of just reel you in and to ground yourself and to trust the situation and to trust the process. But again, Gemini, this is also a reminder that your thoughts are powerful. Your mind is powerful. And to focus on the good, focus on yourself, even if you have to, your own well-being, your own self-care as everything plays out. But with all these wonderful cards that have fallen on the table, I truly think you're going to get some good news by the end of the month, with the Two of Cups being the third card falling into place. And I think it's everything you're going to want to hear. It's everything that you've been waiting for. And I'm excited for you when it happens. So thank you, Gemini, so much for joining me for this reading. I hope that it's given you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's unfolding and happening for you in August. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.